M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Here we are on the Zygu X6100 running the R1 CBU firmware version 12 and it's now 17th of uh, February 2023. So the additional items are, it says DFN menu, smoother scrolling of the waterfall and better or best CW decoder sensitivity and also CAT interface. So we will test it separately with FT8 uh, or W. J, is it WJSTX or WSJTX? I always get that backwards. We will be testing that separately. Uh, but for now, let's just have a quick look at the DFN menu. So DFN, so we're in normally general menu, which is, you can see here, volume one and two, mic select. That's your normal sort of menu and you get your menus when you push the, the volume button. Different menus and if you push the MFK button, you can make changes with, to do with the spectrum as well. Peak speed, zoom, spectrum beta, peak hold. Let's do the, see if we can speed, peak speed. Oh, that's this peak speed is the, this part up here. Minimum level, haven't really played with that, but look, you can see that the, uh, the spectrum goes up and down. Max level as well it's very nice to use uh, with an external speaker sounds great now zoom there's your zoom changes okay that's the highest that's the lowest anyway the additions are dfn so let's push dfn and we can see we've got dnf dnf center and dnf width let's push them you can adjust it with your mfk and the width and DNF on or off. It's on now, let's turn it up. Let's get the right volume. Like I said, it's the internal speaker. So that's why it's not a great sound. So DNF off. On. Not a massive difference there. Let's push it again here. Go to menu two, two out of three. Noise blanker level. Noise blanker width. And obviously turning it on. Let's push it again. And now we'll go to noise reduction, noise reduction level. So it goes up to 60. So let's turn it off. Lower the volume. On. Well, it does make a difference. Uh, in our level zero. It does work. So that's that. Now it says a smoother scrolling waterfall, so let's try that. And just scroll through, go wider. Turn the volume up. Turn the NR on, I think. Not sure why we just suddenly lost our. There you go. The noise reduction does get rid of that background noise. Sure, why that jumps like that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm going to be in that for a little bit. Move that with it on. Um, yeah, that's what I want to say. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's mad, mad, mad. It's sound a bit funny, doesn't it? Much better with the NR on. Yeah, I'm not sure why we're losing. Could be my my BNC connector. Now CWD code. Let's go down. Go to CW. See if we can find someone. I wonder why it's doing that. Can you see that? It's gone from, it's come out of CW. That's interesting. SB, CW. Let's turn that off. We'll tune it as well. CW. Right, just starting to come through now. Okay, well I thought I'd just put it on and then what I'll do is I'll, I might see if I can just quickly connect my USB cable to the, is it the DEV port? I'll check which one it is, see if we receive anything, but you may need two cables. Okay, we've got it in the, the top port, just here, DEV. And into the PC, and we're about to run WSJTX. So I, am, I have got it running. I am getting an error on the input. This is what I'm showing as my input, USB audio, USB audio. There's a, a USB cable going into the DEV port into the laptop. It's receiving fine, and it's TXing fine. Tune. You can see there, tune, that's TXing, but I'm getting that error, as you can tell. Otherwise, it's receiving fine. You can adjust your power here. Uh, you can see R1 uh, software is doing the job. It's got your cat connection. It probably just needs me to play around. I mean, it could be my cable. It's not the best USB cable. I'll show you the settings. I've got audio, radio, Zygu, COM6. So you go right click, device manager, double click, and there it is there. And I've gone for it worked for me on six regarding cat control. I've got audio coming in, um, which has now just suddenly stopped, but I did have audio coming in, no problem. I, I think I got a bad cable, but when it was working, I could test the cat, no problem, and test the PTT. There's PTT test. 
Now you can see the signal there, it's in the background. Let's try the RF gain. What's that? That's bringing it up a bit. But just to show that you have got the CAT connection, now it's just about configuration. I just thought I'd quickly show you where I am with it. The right click device manager and then double click your ports. Right click properties, port settings, look, 19200 I've selected there. And so in the settings, 19200 look board rate, cat. That's my audio. M0FXB. And I can double click a station if I go enable TX. <coughs> so you didn't go into error that time. can tune yeah it's tuning now you can see the radio going into TX it's halt and then enable we'll just let it do its auto thing yeah so right now it seems to have started working just five watts at the moment there you go TX in, we've tuned it, we've used the ATU on the radio. That's it, I think we'll let that run and see what happens. Thanks for watching my channel. Just a quick one on the Zygu X6100 on the R1CBU version 12 firmware. 7.3, bye for now, all the best.